Hello and welcome. Yig here. Today we're looking at Deep Space Cache. This is a game that Steam suggested to me and then I watched a video somebody else did and it looked really fun. Plus, it's a dollar and it's probably about five or six hours of gameplay. So it is somewhat of an, it is an idle game with some other stuff too. So let's, we'll get into that real quick. All right. If you do like what you see here, there will be a link to Steam page in the description. If you want to help the channel grow, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. So this dollar game uh by the way you only have one save slot so if you hit new game and you had a previous one going you no longer have the previous one going i did test that so we're gonna jump in here now you have the idle portion which is basically this screen and these are your generators and they're generating this little currency right here which allows us to buy augments there's a fairly expansive augment thing i think i am about I want to say that I'm about like 50% of the way or so, maybe a little over on how full this is. And the goal of the game, I believe, is to just fill out the entire tree. So you're collecting these to fill out the tree. The tree is making you better every time. We're actually going to leave this in here. I've got a lot. I've got some a lot, a lot for where I'm at saved up. We're going to leave that in here because I want to. I want to show you like different stages. So kind of earlier before I was starting to farm, like something like this, like you see this blue one where we just don't do very much damage at all. That's kind of one of those things that gets better as you're going along. And that's one of the things you're building for. I would recommend density as being something you definitely put in very early. Because when you first start out, it can be pretty, pretty undense. That was weird. Decided to pick up. Actually, I think that would be a very good one. Haha, I need to do a video card. It's never a good time to buy a video card. Alright, so basically you have a little asteroid section in here. There is no damage. So if you, like, ram through something, you take no damage. You do have this uh, the, uh, meter here, which you can build up. And this is a very chill game, too, by the way. Again, like for a buck, I'm, I'm super fine with... It is... It, 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 there's, like... I gotta get more of these. I don't play a lot of I don't play a lot of idle games usually because they're idle games, and after a certain point, idle games all most idle games seem to play themselves. That's the thing. So I don't typically play that, that genre too much. I think because I did that a couple of those other ones, it had suggested me some, and then I had played them. So I think that was why Steam was like, "Hey, look at this." All right, we do want to get our bed harvester up there. So here's what we're going to do. Now we're going to go spend our fun money here. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 let's do that. So you saw it's like, we definitely want to raise, this is the one you'll notice I'm like the deepest in. And it's because it's, I just want all the asteroids. Like seriously, give me just all the asteroids out here. We will spend all of this on getting as many asteroids as we can. Magna distance is good. Look at that, look at that. Here, it's not raining. We're not gonna worry about him too much. Okay, now we just yeah, we just spent all our money on, on that. But now when you go in, like it, the, the the amount of spawns will go up so dramatically, especially for how many we did there. We did a bunch there, so the spawns probably went up by a good thirty percent or so. And uh, you'll get a lot more of your materials doing it that way, so, which is kind of nice. That would be the one that I would focus on first, like getting to the point where you can like one or two shot uh, the green asteroids in the beginning of the game with damage, and and then uh, and then basically getting the the spawns up as fast as you can. And then the the actual generator screen is is that's what you're collecting out here. Now, as an idle game, I haven't really been idling it, and I would kind of suggest not. I idle. I probably idled for about. 10 minutes or 10 20 minutes which is probably less than expected from the idle concept but i find the uh the, the little asteroids part here kind of pretty pretty relaxing and the idle part in the background running as more of a uh hey bonus i just finished the stage i get to go spend a bunch of money on the tree upgrades. so and 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 i did uh like i said i did actually uh i was actually about I was almost at the end when I changed when I when I when I deleted my save. 
So I've been through a pretty good chunk of it. And it's, uh, yeah, I like it. The tree's real good. The tree, like everything going on here. We don't have quite as much money as we had there. We're going to add... You have a zero, so that's going to help out there. Not exist. It's better to exist than not exist. 19, 14... 14. I tend to lean towards these as long as this is doing us like this is 40. So an extra 5% speed is going to actually help out pretty much. I, I like speed. I, there's probably a good balance, perfect balance in these things, but I kind of always end up investing in speed more personally. All right. So what we know there is that our asteroid spawn rate is pretty okay. All right. We have a bunch of magnets to buy, but let's go over here. Let's go do some stuff over here. We're going to get some plumbing bullets. And a little bit of extra, and there we go. That'll be our thing there. Now the homing butts are around here. You don't see them shoot off occasionally. And it's pretty cool the way they did it because you kind of ramp up and in, in, in the beginning you're you're just a ship and you don't have any of these little little drones on the outside that are murdering things like a lawnmower for us. You don't have all that stuff. And, and when you first get them, they, they do just enough damage to sort of help you. So it's like this where you line them up. And uh, the progression is actually really well done. Like, it's very, 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 very pleasantly uh, sloped, one might say. Uh, the progression is definitely cool. It definitely seems to work really well. So I really like that. That is why I'm showing it to you. I think it was, I think it was Wanderbot video that was, that he did, that, that was the person I found who did it. Um, and I think it actually, it was, it was his second video on it. And the reason I remember that is that if you get a chance, I would highly suggest you go watch that video because he explained some stuff that he learned about, uh, um, the steam, steam and, and wish lists and stuff like that, that he had learned from people who had, who had had experience with it. And it definitely, there's some things that were different than I had assumed. And he, he can explain it way better than I could, so. If you get a chance, go watch that video. It actually, it tells you a lot about why you should, if you like a game, get an, a review, especially an early review when it's just come out and things like that, because you can really, truly help the game out that way. Because it matters so much right in the beginning where that, that they have the reviews and the, yeah, sales, and but reviews are just crazy good. So it's like outside of sales, reviews are probably, early reviews are probably the one of the biggest ones. All right, we, I want to save up for this if possible because we're, we're halfway there. And we're going to increase our damage, so that should work pretty well. Let's go like that. We're going to keep going on our damage up here because we want all kinds of crazy things happening. All right. Damage will eventually get uh, kind of expensive. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, more rotating bullets. That's right. So as you go along, though, like, your power ramps up super cool. Suddenly, you, by the end of the, by, towards the end of it, you're just destroying everything. You're just like a, you're just a one-ship lawnmower for asteroids. So I just thought it was a really cool concept. And like I said, it was a, I mean, it's a dollar. I've... Even after deleting my save, that was probably that was probably like 80% of the way done. I'm having fun, still having fun, just dinking around playing it, which is good because deleting my save was. I was like, oh, I wonder what the, I wonder if this deletes your save, and I was like, it probably does, and then I did it, and I was like, yeah, it did. <laughs> like, I knew it was definitely a possibility, and then I wasn't too, and I wasn't too upset with it. I've had enough time to get back up there. But yeah, there's, uh, it is, I, I actually like to see, like, like, the, like, something like this is, is really interesting. Hey, there's some cool mechanics. I would love to see what other mechanics this guy could come up with, because he has some really cool ones. Once we get the homing bullets and all that stuff, he kind of packaged every, a lot of the, uh, shmup weapon, weaponry types in here. So you have, like, rotating bullets and homing bullets, things like that. Yeah, it works really well. Let's see. I gotta actually invest in the power to mow. That's that's probably where I really need to do it. <laughs> Cause I don't have very much power stuff. So we can actually, oh, there we go. We'll get those. We'll do those. We'll do those. Start back here. Where it's cheaper. There we go. Oh. Hey, that goes farther too. Perfect. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We'll have way more power now. Way more power. Okay. Let's go. 
Oh yeah, we have so much more power. Power Trim is always the one that I spent the least time. Because I kind of like it. I, I kind of like the in-between jump in and and these. This part takes a decent amount of time, but then you but then you're constantly upgrading, constantly seeing your stuff. I definitely. But the power bar upgrades do get really strong, and especially if you're trying to hunt for those harder ones where you got like don't quite have the firepower to take it down super fast like these blue ones. Having those extra seconds is so nice because you can kind of recharge some of somewhat recharge unless you're collecting stuff too. So it does make those a little bit more. It makes it a little more, a little less painful to hit these. Did you grab those when you're first in? Lots of purple. Lots of purples. All the purple. Yeah, the idle portion of it. Um, yeah. I feel like if you idle too much, you could easily like miss out on the the, the, the fun of the progressions. And uh, like I said, I do like the chill part too. Nice and relaxing. Not stressful, just chill. Gonna go mow me some asteroids down, and, and then yeah, oh yeah, that is so much more time, uh, which is good because otherwise this video is gonna look like another meteor simulator. <laughs> Sometimes I am slow on making my decisions, so they look that way. Because in some roguelites, especially when the abilities are kind of complicated, like you, you, there's times where you legitimately spend like. 25 30 percent of your time of a run in that menu screen and it's paused so it's like it's a 20 minute run but it's actually like a 33 minute run <laughs> we're almost there we're almost there then we can start investing in this i keep going with the speed Get those we'll break you all right that's a pretty good lifetime i think we're homing reloads let's get those oh yes please can i get some more over here yeah i can we got homing over there. We got more rotating bullets over here. So we're gonna need 320 for both of those. That's not too bad. Yes, yeah. See, I, and so as you, the more you go up, the the damage and all the trees, you really start doing. Also, it looks kind of crazy. It's like we're doing these blue ones way faster already. That was just a you know a couple of upgrades into the fire rate and the uh, damage trees. So, I really like it. Very, very good. Like, the progression feels good. Probably one of the things that makes it feel really satisfying to play, too. Which is really nice. Alright, alright, alright. I don't think we'll quite make it to the end, because I think at the rate I was going on the other one, I would say that, uh, probably about, uh, like, two two and a half ish hours like like the upgrades do start to get more expensive so you are going to spend a little bit more time. it's not like you're just to be like constantly upgrading 10 15 things at a time they do start to get expensive later if you'll end up upgrading like just a little bit all right let's take this guy right here oh yeah that time that time phew that time is that is a lot of seconds 289 seconds is a lot of seconds but this timer does get longer. It does get me, I was gonna say that. The energy drain gets bigger than the, the... Oh man, it really wants me to have the blue ones. But they, that's what we wanted, so hey, that works. Take this one. We'll go get that one too, because that'll get a couple other ones at the same time. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Purple, purple. Thank you too. All right, all right, there we go, there we go. I think we probably have enough blues at that point. Like this, yeah, because I think we only needed five. Fifty, yep. There we go. Oh, we need one more. We're gonna need all of them. All of them. them. Alright, let's see. Here we were. Homing reload homing faster. Shots only. Oh. Uh, but we we were going rotating bullets. More rotating bullets. That gets these ones on the outside. Oh. And that is what starts your lawnmower through space. Oftentimes they'll be just destroying them in, way before you get there. 
So, interesting thing I want to show you real quick. Hopefully, minds real quick. There is a mouse cursor setting. You can set it on, but um, the indicator is what I meant. Or off asteroids. When you get enough, when you get towards the end of the screen on the on the the, the spawn rate, it can literally often be worth it to just switch it to or <laughs> because you just absolutely oh yeah we need to oh that is so tanky <laughs> you can set it to or because you're shooting stuff off screen before you even get there these green ones are just going to explode so you end up destroying a bunch of stuff off screen so if you set it to or you can kind of Make sure you grabbed all the stuff in the immediate area. I've used it a couple times. I just thought it was kind of cool that they even had the option because I didn't. I'll admit it. I don't think I would have thought of that as an option. I was just like, yeah, no, it should point me to the nearest asteroid, right? Okay, job's done. So, yeah, I like great. I like I like stuff like this. Like when you can see this little. I would say that pretty much like, like I said, like the sh 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 shoot shoot 'em up mechanics and things like that, but really well executed, well put together and well, well, well organized. All right. Let's see if we can burn our battery a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully we can get some more, uh, well, hopefully we'll get enough to get some more of the rocket things. These things are cool. Oh, those purples are strong. <laughs> we are going to have one for a while. Well, that's permitted from you. We've got more speed on you. We have augments. We can do damage augments, which is definitely not a bad thing at this point. But we still do have some cheap augments over here, and I think we have some cheaper augments over here. Okay, yeah, so there we go. We'll jump in there. Well, let's see. They should be they should be shooting their homing bullets faster. Oh yeah, 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 okay. Oh, they seem Hmm. Seems like they tried a little better too. I did not expect this. Oh man. <laughs> we get the blue one by accident, even though it's one of the rough ones too. Just by putting that thing in the right place. Oh, it was it just takes so much energy to kill one of these. The timer's gonna be out before you do anything. Alright. More blues. Yeah, if you get it once you get once you get some good upgrades with this, you start cruising. Like I said, play it a little bit, a little bit a little bit of a timer and you like when I would get up and go do stuff for a couple minutes, it's like, oh, I gotta go make dinner or something. It just like that. Worked out pretty nice. I kind of want the purple. I want it to generate. I want to. I want enough for them to generate the very first one because these are usually like worth like thirty or forty, if I remember correctly. So it's like even that first step of generating is is is, is a big jump. First step of damage needs to be a big jump too. Take half of forever to kill that thing. Alright. Will we make it? I don't think we will. Nope. We not. Ah, but we got enough. It is now generating something. Our speed, our speed. 15, 20, 15, 11. Keep going on the harvest speed. And we definitely need some more damage. 400. Right. Yeah, it should work. All right, let's do a tiny bit of piling. So I will be right back. 
All right, we idled a little bit. We actually we actually did a couple more harvests to just add to the idling. Got everything going. Unlocked the tetra mine here for the yellows. We haven't even seen one yet. No, I did see one, and but it was like I had no chance of damaging it. So as much as I would like to continue filling that out for efficiency's sake, we're gonna head up here to the damage section. You have no choice. Yeah, expect that. Ooh. Spiral bullets. Oh, I forgot. Spiral bullets exist. Oh, yeah, that's going to be cool. Cool. Oh, that's going to be good. Nice. So you get to see a bunch more stuff. Yeah, so we did power up our damage there. Real good. Yeah, look at the yellow. It would take us like five years to make it through this. <laughs> at this rate. <laughs> We're going to get one. We're going to get one this run. Everything else? Everything else is fine. We should do like our whole run to get five of these. That's hilarious. Yeah, like I said, you know, it definitely does have that. I actually like the asteroid portion of it being attached because it really does make it more interactive for more of my style game. And uh, yeah, I really like it. I really hope the uh, developer makes some more. And oh man, thank you. easily five or six hours of gameplay for for a dollar that's that's not bad that's not bad at all i've seen triple a games with six hour campaigns that is not bad <laughs> yeah let's see how far let's see let's see if we can uh i don't want to go too long on the video because it goes it goes a little much for some people we get back up here while we shoot in Right, come on, guys, over here. Oh, man, that life bar. It might, I, uh, you know, what are the uh, attack speed, I believe, it increase, has increases for your uh, your rotating bullets. I think we might have to put some of that in there. Oh, no, these stopped. Between rounds, I'm going to tap out. Put them back on. Right, so we got two, two yellow. Usually I don't expect to be able to break the material until afterwards a little bit because, man, some of these materials are hard. Spend on you, spend on you, spend on you. Um, pause music. Look at that, though. We're kind of cooking up. We start cooking up. Once you start getting into these, you're, you really start getting up there. All right, let's see here. We were going for damage. Do that with spiral bullets. Spiral bullets are good. Homing bullets and spiral bullets. Any, 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 I think. Oh yeah, yeah, Nate. And that. Okay, there we go. There we go. There. Oh yeah, that'll work. So yeah, we probably won't finish the whole thing, but that's that's. You'll want to do that, and and to see everything. Oh, we do get to see a good sampling of all. Good trade. Oh, those spiral spiral bullets are cool. Uh, the only thing I would say is I'd love to be able to change the color of the first one. Oh, it, 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 I find it not... I, I, sometimes it blends in with all the bullets on the screen. So I, I, I lose it a lot. But then again, with as bright as some of these asteroids are, I don't know what color you could make it that, would, that it would stand out while also not looking like an asteroid. It's a tough one. We try the yellow. Okay, it's a little better, a little faster. That's the nice part, is it we'll grow into it. But, but if I can get him online, if I can get, if I get like three of these in this run, which isn't impossible, but certainly is going to be a really super efficient use of time, we'd get that generator online and it'd be producing its one per, how much ever per minute. So that could be a cool jump to see how much that jumps too. So let's see if we can get to that point. Let's see how much that one's worth, because I didn't pay attention to it in my previous game. I, I, I had not... I, I was like, okay, it takes forever to kill. I'm just going to not kill it for a while. <laughs> that purple one. That purple one. I need you. Come here. Come here. Okay. All right, we just got to keep the rotating bullets and everything going. We can keep that on him. We can get, we can get at least this one. We'll have four, I think. Technically, if I find one, if I find the yellow, I think we have enough time. It's just a matter of finding 
can offset some of the energy use. Oh no, our where it might be 1.9. No, no, our energy use is through the roof. We are not going to be finding that one. Ah, oh, yeah, but then we needed four to get it online. So how much does that do? 64 bits a minute. That's a lot. Look how much we already got just just during that run. Right. Yeah, we got that online. That's a win. All right. How many reloads? How many reloads? Those are nice. That is, yeah, there's some really cool stuff. I don't know what's in this tree other than energies. In energies? Energies. All right. Let's see. We definitely want more homing bullets. Definitely want more of everything. But we don't have enough. <laughs> and that is how it goes in these types of games. Like, wait, I need more. We'll probably do one or two. We'll do one more and then, then we'll come on there. That'll pull pretty, not too long, not too short. Really. Actually, for those who do watch, like if you have a preference, long versus short, let me know. I try to keep I, I try not to go too crazy, like 30, 40 bit minutes, I understand our kind of thing. Uh, and not necessarily, you know, especially if you're watching YouTube with your phone and stuff, it's not necessarily like you can sit there for a quick minute. So I can kind of understand some, why some people, depending on their, their, how they're consuming it, could want, could want it to be slightly shorter or slightly longer. So depending on how much you like being able to control it myself. Yeah, like I like I do really do like games like these where you can kind of chill and relax. They're not they're like I don't think they're anybody's primary game. Well, actually, no, they're probably most people out there because they're primary thing. Don't think of it. <laughs> the more I thought I put in that, the more I realized, yeah, they're probably most people out there. All right, we're gonna avoid that yellow one for now. We're actually gonna go on a on a pick up everything rampage. Oh, purple. Oh, yeah, we'll be, so that way we can upgrade a whole bunch of things. It's like my blue one's not very upgraded. Most of them are not very super upgraded because I was pushing to China to get to the. I always have that weird thing in. in what, this is one of the reasons that I did it. When I did play Iron Games for a little while, I always had the thing problem where I always push for like. I always seem to push for the wrong stat for that one. <laughs> Like I and I and any time I see that there's a new material open, I feel like I gotta go, even if it takes me longer. And that's not a good thing to do in idle games. If you actually want to optimize your time, I'm usually not worried about optimizing my time. But it, you know, to some people that makes a big difference. He likes the speeds. All right, let's see here. And more spiral bolts. More spiral bolts. And then we're out. Let me check. All right, yeah, about 27 minutes. That's not too bad. Plus, there's still a good chunk of these trees that you can uh, that you guys will be able to discover for yourself. You need to pick this up. So, uh, it only has a quick game. I can't go back to the menu. <laughs> so, this has been Deep Sea Space Cash. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you liked the video, I hope you come back for the next one. And most of all, I hope you have a great day.